Now at 11, another former gym teacher accused of sexual misconduct with students. The latest, a former Cincinnati Country Day School teacher from the 1960s to the 80s. Nine on your side obtained a letter written by the president of the board of trustees of that school and the head of Cincinnati Country Day School detailing the most recent findings. Our Jake Rowell joins us now from the newsroom with a look into that letter. Jake. Well, Tanya, this letter alleges Peter Blanchard, who was employed as a gym teacher at the school for 15 years, had sexual contact with at least two former students. It is the latest alleged case over the past week of a tri-state teacher engaging in sexual misconduct. The year is 1976. Black and white pictures paint the story. Peter Blanchard can be seen here in the first row. 1979, Blanchard, a boys and girls sports teacher for fourth and fifth graders, is top left in this class photo. According to a letter from the current board of trustees and the head of the school, Blanchard faces two allegations of engaging in physical contact of a sexual nature. He taught at the school from 1966 to 1981. After leaving CCD, he taught at other schools. A 1981 yearbook article shows he moved to a town near Boston to teach third through fifth grade students. The letter states school officials have notified other schools where he served and that he's no longer working with kids. It also states his alleged actions were intolerable. The most recent allegation spurred by another letter six months ago where another former teacher of 20 years was accused of sexual misconduct around the same time period. That teacher resigned in 1987 and has since died. Fast forward to this week, now former Springboro teacher Austin Hopkins has been charged with 36 counts of gross sexual imposition. Warren County Prosecutor David Fornshell says the gym teacher sexually abused 28 girls between December 2018 and March of 2019. Hopkins has posted $500,000 bond. The judge has ordered he remain at home with no contact of minors. And back to Cincinnati Country Day. In that letter, the school says they're using this chapter to keep everyone informed of the practices and policies that they have in place today. They say they're unwavering in their commitment to the safety and well-being of students. Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.